All right, update. Up, uh, blah, blah, blah. Update, that car shit was for the birds. And uh, it was uh, a lot more uncomfortable than uh, I anticipated. So I said, fuck that. I took like a 10 minute nap and uh, I couldn't really fall asleep. So I woke up and I went home, but I left the book in the car. And then I was like, you know what? Let me go look at the 75 hard guy just to make sure I'm not cheating myself because I'll be damned if I fucking fail. I looked at the thing and it mentioned two things. It was like, one, you wanna make sure you're you know, relatively awake when you receive the information. That's not really a requirement so much as like, because reading the 10 pages, if you read the 10 pages, you read the 10 pages. I read 10 pages. But because this book has a lot of graphs and whatnot, because I was low-key tired as fuck, I was like, okay, what if I actually do just 10 pages instead of reading 10, like 15 to 20 that I usually do? What if I just do 10 numbered pages and just count it as that? But the guy specifically says it has to be 10 full pages. And those pages would be relatively close to 200 to 300 words per page. And I would realize quickly that if I did not go back and grab this book, then I would shortchange myself. So yeah, I literally went from my car, skated back home, got a sip of water, and then walked back to my car to grab the book. And then on the way from my car back to my apartment, I'm literally walking and reading at the same time. Yes, it's 3 a.m. in downtown right now. And this is probably very dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. At the same time though, it kind of hit me with a little bit of an epiphany, which is that one thing that's really fun about kind of being a crazy person and just obsessing over like just ex excellence and like ex obsessing over completing a task is that it kind of frees you from the pressures and the prisons of like all the other shit of life. Like, I don't care what anyone thinks about me in this moment right now. I'm literally about to add this to a video and upload it. And anybody who wants to see how crazy I am can make fun of me for the rest of their lives. But it's like, I don't know, when you choose the game that you play, and I choose the game of personal growth. Like I am prioritizing my growth in the direction of self-discipline, in the direction of taking action, in the direction of you know being really mentally fucking resilient and sticking to my word. I choose my growth in that area right now over anything else on the planet. And it frees me from so much like stress and pressure because I win as long as I'm excelling in that game. And it's a weird way. I don't know if I'm putting this the right way, but it's like when you choose the game that you want to play and it's a game where you control all the outcomes, you can't, it's really hard to, it's really hard to lose. Does that make sense? Or I, or I should say winning makes it, winning winning in that game is way more satisfying than winning in someone else's game. Like if I was playing the game of money right now, no matter what I do, I'm always gonna feel unsatisfied because there's always someone else with more money. Like even, even if I got out of debt, I'd still be like, okay, now I'm at zero. And then even if I had $100,000, I'd still be like, damn, but I don't have a million yet. And I'm gonna play that game at some point, but I'm not gonna play it directly. I'm gonna play the personal growth game and by winning at the personal growth game every single day, it'll naturally give me an abundance of other things that'll make it so that it looks like I'm playing other games and I'm winning other games. Like, yo, how do you have so much money? How do you have so many bitches? How do you have so many cars? How do you have so much fame and recognition and respect? And it's like, because I just put everything into the personal growth game and I just win at that game every single day because that is one of the only games where you can control all the controllables. I choose exactly what I think about. I choose to take action despite how I feel. I choose to stay up till 3 a.m. to read 10 pages of this book, or 15 in this case now, 20 in this case now, and walk around downtown looking like a crazy person. I choose to upload it to YouTube because in five years, when people can look back and they're like, okay, how did this motherfucker become like who he is now? He used to be like this. It's gonna be moments like this that people don't think about, people don't realize because they're too embarrassed. Because y'all don't realize what it fucking takes, like I always say. And I don't know, I'm just realizing that that shit is so fun. Like, I fucking won. I fucking won. I could be asleep right now. And feeling and being asleep would feel so good. But I chose, I, I knew that, like, the, the, like, like, I don't know, tomorrow, for example, I'm gonna wake up and I'm probably gonna be extremely tired. 
And so a lot of people is gonna look like I'm losing because I'm gonna be super tired, but like, I'm gonna feel so happy and satisfied knowing that even though I made a couple bad decisions today, the ones that I made that are the right decisions are the ones that are important. I controlled what I could control. I did my two workouts, I drank my fucking water, I meal prepped, and I read. I didn't drink, I didn't smoke. I won today, you know what I'm saying? And it feels fucking good and I just, I'm so excited because in the future, like I always, like I was saying in the last episode, like I get to choose what winning is. Does that make sense? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like I choose what winning is. That's such a fucking superpower. 99% of people live in a world where other people determine whether they win or not. They're constantly looking up for for like a, oh, hey guys, did I win yet? Oh, did I, do I look like I won yet? Can I afford a Ferrari yet? Can I quit my job yet? Can I do this, that, and the third? And it's like, you're playing the wrong game. Like, did you win the day? Did you control, did you make a decision and make a plan and say that I'm gonna stick to this plan? And did you actually stick to it? Did you do all the things that you knew you were supposed to get done? If you prioritize that and you make that the game, then every day you can win. Like, that's so weird to me. I don't know if I'm, I'm really tired right now, so it sounds way cooler than it actually is, but I feel like I'm hitting on something here. I mean, Andy already talks about it, but I've heard him say it a bunch of times and it's not really hitting until this very moment right now. My life is in absolute chaos right now but I'm controlling everything that I want to control, that I feel is important to control. And that shit just feels so fucking good. Like, I don't know, it feels like I'm unstoppable. It feels like, <laughs> that's really what it feels like. Like, I don't know, I'm, I know I'm only 41 days in and I still have another month of this shit, but this is a very real fucking moment that I'm, I'm, like, I'm realizing not a lot of people ever feel this, like in their lives like actually just doing something that they decided they want to do and sticking to it. I don't know if I've ever felt like this. I never stick to something. And I know I can't get complacent because like I said, I got another 34 days. I can't just pretend like this is the end, but like I could have easily failed today. <laughs> I don't know, it's trippy as fuck. Like if I could do this, bro, like I can say what I'm gonna do something and I can just do it. Like, what is life after you reach that point? It just becomes, it just becomes a little, it just becomes a game, it becomes an RPG. What the fuck? <laughs> That's insane.